Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my best of Bring Back My Bar for June 2023 video and I'm super excited to talk to you about this. So before we dive in, hello if you're new here, please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you want to become a Wickless Charm VIP, the link to my Facebook group is down below. Okay guys, that's it. Let's go ahead and dive on it. So for our summer Bring Back My Bar, we have 20 retired fragrances back for the month while supplies last but all of these are eligible for Cincy Club and always get my bar. So if you find one that you fall in love with you can stock up on it or add it to club so that you get it forever or if one of these is a scent that you actually voted for this past winter and now it's back you can stock up on it and or add it to your Cincy Club so that you get forever. These are all well actually no this is actually a moment in Cincy history. We actually have a licensed bar in our Bring Back My Bar for the first time ever. The original Love and Kisses Mini fragrance is in here. Um, I'm actually not doing a full video about all 20 because most of these scents have been in Bring Back My Bars, especially recently. I'm really hoping that Scentsy kind of changes how Bring Back My Bar works or how voting works because we just need, we need something different and that's my personal opinion. Um, we do have some first timers in this collection. We have one that I voted for like crazy that I'm super excited for that's actually in this video. So yeah, I'm not doing like a full video on all 20 cents, but all 20 are available to look at, read all the scent descriptions on my website down below. Today's video is what I, is, so today's video is about the 12 that I think are the best. So these are the ones that I would pick for you out of the 20 bars with Bring My Bar. Um, I had to do 12 because I like to do them in six packs. So if you want to try all 12, you can do two six packs, get you two of the bars for free. It's the best way to save you some money whenever you bundle and save. Or you could just create your own six pack and pick six out of the 12 that I'm about to talk to you about. So if you are not familiar with Bring Back My Bar, Bring Back My Bar is an event that happens twice a year with Cincy. Cincy opens up voting for consultants and customers all over to vote for their favorite retired waxes to come back for that month. And once they come back, you're able to buy them as waxes and you can add them to Cincy Club and they will qualify for Always Get My Bar once the Bring Back My Bar event ends. So I'm going to go in alphabetical order and first up is Beach. So this is actually one that has been around in Bring Back My Bars in the past. It was actually the Bring Back My Bar was the only way that I've actually experienced this one because it's never been available in a catalog or like a limited time collection. But Beach, I've already been making some samples for my Scentsy Club. If you had a Scentsy Club process with me in the month of May, you're getting some samples in the mail this month. So just wait. But Beach, so literally it just and it like ties together the whole like idea of a coconut tropical beach beachy feel so the description oh, the description of this one is papaya and honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut you definitely get that papaya and honeydew honeydew <laughs> in this fragrance you get it you really smell it it gives it that more like sweet and a little bit more of a, I don't want to say citrus, but like a lighter, tangier type of smell. But you get so much coconut in this. And it's also, I swear it has like some musk in it, I swear. But it just has that very musky, woodsy, tropical, beachy air feel. And I just dropped it. It's okay because this is mine. <laughs> this is my bar. It's okay that it was on the ground. But Beach has always been one of my number one favorites. And also I want to point out that the last few, last couple of Bring Back My Bars, instead of having the Bring Back My Bar sticker label, um, since he started adding the original wax label and then a little Bring Back My Bar sticker on it, just to show that they are Bring Back My Bar, but none of these have the Bring Back My Bar sticker on them. So I don't know if they're going to, like this is for my consultant kit, so I don't know if they're going to at when you ordered them as of now because now bring a bar is actually live um but i really like that because especially there's one in here that like i've never seen the original design for and so it's just kind of it makes me happy it, it makes me very happy to see like that original design um, um next we have cashmere pear and so this one is a scent that you can definitely warm you around it's definitely a sensual fragrance so it it's pointed out as fruity. It's in the fruity fragrance family. I don't see it as fruity at all. I think it is fresh and woods, 
but I mean, I'm not the fragrance specialist deciding these fragrance families. Um, this one is Slip Into Sensual White Amber, Madagascar Vanilla, Silky Pear, and Warm Red Ginger. A blend as smooth and luxurious as fine spun cashmere. This is just one of those scents. If you love scents like cozy cashmere, um, cashmere and corduroy, any of the Catching Z's collection fragrances, um, any of those very, it's like those scents that you just really can't describe, you're going to really like this one. I know we also had like a, just a plain cashmere scent. So, if you loved cashmere, try out some cashmere pear. It has a little bit more to it. It's not just cashmere, um, but I definitely think that this is a winner, and it's for sure one of my number one favorites. Um, next, we have a cherry vanilla. This is actually one that I've never seen the sticker to. Um, I think it's been a while since we've had this, and it brings out my bar, so that was exciting. Um, but cherry vanilla, like it says, it's in the bakery category. That's not, it's not bakery to me. It's not, it's fruity to me. Um, this is a delightful swirl of candied cherry and sugared almonds folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream. I guess that's why it's in the bakery because it's got ice cream in it. I didn't even know that. To me, this is a typical cherry, yeah, cherry vanilla soda from Sonic. If you were to get a cherry vanilla like add cherry and vanilla to a Sprite, that's what you're gonna get for this. I never even thought of it as having like an ice cream sweet kind of like decadent note. But yeah, I mean, I guess so. It reminds me more of like a, like a Hawaiian ice type smell than it does like an ice cream. That's just my personal nose. Just take that, take that as you want, but that is just my opinion. Up next, we definitely have a bakery scent. This is Chiro Chiro. I remember whenever this was in a catalog, it only came out for one or two spring summer catalogs and then it never came back. And this one is freaking incredible. If you like like cinnamon sugar bakery scents, you need this. It is so good and it's a powerhouse and it literally smells like fresh cooked churros. So this one is baked pastry sprinkled with cinnamon sugar captures that heavenly churro charm. Yes, it's in the bakery fragrance family. It is literally one of those scents that smells spot on of what it's supposed to smell like. It's delicious. It literally smells like baked goods with cinnamon sugar. It's definitely something I could use like warm year round. This would also be an easy one to mix with. Like imagine this with baked apple pie in the fall. Amazing. Up next we have a fuzzy blanket. I remember whenever this first came out as a bring my eye bar, it was never really one of my favorites, but like my nose has really evolved since then. Um, this, whenever I smelled it this round, it brought me back to the Catching Z's collection. This is one of those scents, kind of like cashmere pear. It's really hard to describe. You just have to smell and experience it to see how good it is or smell how good it is. So this one is snuggle up to the soft scent of lavender, sandalwood, and sweet honeysuckle. It's probably that sandalwood note that does it for me. Y'all know I love woods and you know I love sandalwood. Like sandalwood is my number one favorite woodsy fragrance ever. And so I guess, like honestly, this reminds me a lot of snuggle up, which is in the Catching Z's collection, which the Snuggle Up is actually in my Scentsy Club because that was my number one favorite. That one in Shut Eye. Those are my favorite from the Catching Z's. That was hands down one of the best collections we've ever had. Um, and this one, if you really liked that collection or if you really like Snuggle Up, if you didn't add it to your Scentsy Club, if you didn't stock up on it, try this because this is definitely a sister fragrance to Snuggle Up. Um, next we have the one that I voted for like crazy. So this is Ghostly Greetings. This is gonna take you into the fall mood. Fall and winter fragrances are my favorite fragrances, especially fall. So Ghostly Greetings was actually a scent of the month and it's one scent that I love to warm. Like I love this mixed with the Jack's Obsession and Halloween Town. And now mixed with the Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson Sisters. That four bar bundle warm together is literally like fall and Halloween and everything spooky and warm and cinnamony and delicious. <laughs> so good. It's one of my favorite 
combinations. And so I was running low on ghostly greetings because it never came back and never, it has been in a clearance. I did grab some in a clearance update not too long ago. Um, but whenever I saw this available to vote for on Bring My Bar, I had to vote for it like crazy because I need to add it to my Cincy Club so that it's in there with Hocus Pocus and Jack's Obsession and Halloween Town. So this one is In the Woods Fragrance Family. It is spooky black plum, spiced berry, and a dash of bourbon are brewed in a cauldron and ready to beckon you in. It's incredible. One of my favorites for a reason. I know that this was one of those scents of the month that was either a hit or a miss for people. I freaking adore it. And if you just haven't found something to warm it with, if you have Jack's Obsession and Halloween Town and the Hocus Pocus one, warm it with that because that is literally the best recipe. So up next we have Happy Birthday and this was the one I was talking about where like I hadn't ever seen like the original label. How cute is that? Happy Birthday is one that goes way back with me. I've only had it in a Bring Me My Bar. It's never been in the catalog with me. Um, but this one is a candy-licious confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and vanilla extract. It literally smells like a funfetti cake. So good. I usually, I haven't had it in my club in a while. Um, I have a good little stock of it because I always warm this on my birthday. <laughs> I like, I like a good pun, you know. It's not really a pun, but it's like a punny moment. Um, but happy birthday. If you like bakery scents, if you love cake scents, if you like vanilla bean buttercream, you need to try Happy Birthday because you might just find a new, like, holy grail favorite scent. Up next, we have another, like, fall winter scent. There's actually six out of the 12 that are, like, fall scents for me. Um, I don't know if people, like, whenever we voted, it was fall and winter, so maybe everybody kind of was just in that vibe and voting for their favorite fall and winter scents. Um, but just because it's summer doesn't mean that you can't purchase this and love it. You could also purchase it, like purchase the fall winter scents to put back for the upcoming fall winter season because like fall will be here before we know it. And you can also add these to your Scentsy Club. If you know you like these or if you fall in love with these, you can add these to your Scentsy Club to make sure that you are prepared to have it for future fall winter seasons. So this is Hemingway. Um, this one is rich ripe apples and warm woody accents of sandalwood and cedar with hints of spice. It is in the woods fragrance family. It is just a perfect woods, like woods, folly apple, cinnamon spice. And it also has that musk. It has the musk and the woods, both sandalwood and driftwood. It's just, it's so good. If you like manly scents, you would definitely love Hemingway. Up next, we have another fall scent. This is actually another one that I was voting for like crazy, Painted Leaves. So raise your hands down in the comments below and let me know if you remember whenever this one was in a catalog. Um, it only came out of one catalog. I really liked it and I'm really surprised that it didn't stick around because I think that this is, this is a really good fall scent. So Painted Leaves is in the Woods Fragrance Family. A, the scent description is Wonder through blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. It's just literally kind of like, it reminds me a lot of since like first day of fall. First day of fall and like autumn road trip, just those scents that really tie together like the best scent notes of the fall season, you know? Like it's just so nice. And I'm so happy to have this. I'm going to, I don't know if I'm gonna warm this, I'm really in a summer mood, but I'll probably grab a bunch of these and or add to club just in case. Like I might just add it to club just in case whenever I do pull it out to warm it this fall, if I fall in love with it like all over again, I would already have it in club. And then if I am warming it and it's like not something that's like something I love enough to club it, then I could just remove it. So I might do that and then then I have I'm, I'm backed up either way up next is another fall and winter scent I think this one was a it was a winter scent of the month a long time ago this is plum and white woods and I'm still amazed by these fragrance families because it says it's fruity it's definitely not to me it is definitely a woods fresh fragrance so this one is sweet raspberry preserves and damson plum weave through vanilla orchid I didn't know that was going to say orchard or orchid. It's orchid. 
This was one I actually didn't even like in the beginning. I remember this being a sin of the month and not liking it, not caring about it at all. Um, but I have grown over the years and now this is one of those scents that I absolutely adore. Um, again, this just like painted leaves, I'll probably grab some this month and then add it to club and then whenever it's time, this time of the year to warm this, if I fall in love with it, I'll keep it in club or if it's something that I can let go at a club and just wait until the next time I get it, maybe, um, I'll remove it. So definitely good. We have two more left. So this one is actually the last of like the spring summery scents. This is Southern Sweet Tea. I'm so happy to have this one back. So this is a fruity fragrance. It is a splash of heirloom peach, orange juice, and white tea. It literally smells like a peach tea to me. In my personal opinion, this is the perfect peach tea fragrance. And I don't even like peach tea, but I love how it smells apparently because I swear that's what this is. I remember whenever this was a car bar, it was one of my favorite ones too. It was so nice. It's just one of those it's just one of those scents that are it's just unique like it's something that you just have to have it might not be like the most classic or the most like well known or um you know most popular scents but it's definitely a fragrance that is great to have on hand for the spring and summer season so southern sweet tea i'm so happy to have her back okay last but not least out of the best of bring back my bar for june 2023 is vanilla suede so this is definitely when i had to add in here vanilla suede is a woodsy fragrance it is classic vanilla with rich amber and hints of sandalwood and spice a subtly masculine fragrance this is another one that it's not like a spring and summer scent for me but it's definitely one that is amazing for fall and winter it reminds me a lot of the original lion king scent circle of life um, it, like, I remember that one coming out, like, it reminded me so much of it, and it reminds me a lot of, what was the, uh, the Woody fragrance, the, like, the actual Toy Story, which, by the way, why does that never come back? Toy Story came out with, like, a Woody and a Buzz Lightyear fragrance, and the Woody one was my number one favorite. It also reminds me of since, like, um, while we're on the topic, um, leather, what was it? Something leather. Something leather, saddle, saddle up, saddle up. That's what it reminds me of. Just warm, sensual, masculine scents like that. This is like a cold favorite, vanilla suede is, I swear. Um, it hasn't been in a catalog in a very long time, but it has been voted back like time and time again in a bring back my bar. But now, since we have Scentsy Club, you can add it to your Scentsy Club, lock it in and get it for always get my bar, always get it forever, and you don't ever have to worry about like it coming back or like you don't have to worry about voting for it like crazy whenever it's available for Bring My Bar. So yeah, those are the top 12 scents that I personally picked out of Bring Back My Bar for June 2023. All 20 of the fragrances are available right now through my website, wicklesstorm.com, and you can add these to your Scentsy Club. Meaning that if you add them to a Scentsy Club subscription, after June it passes by in a blink of an eye, they will actually lock into your club with the always get my bar icon, meaning that they aren't going anywhere. You will continue to get them in your Scentsy Club subscription every one, two or three months, whatever your club, whatever schedule you have your club on, you will continue to get it thanks to always get my bar. It's kind of like an insurance policy. Add your favorite scents so that you still get them in the future just in case they never come back. But that's it guys, I would love to hear down in the comments what, if you had to pick 12 or six or whatever number you wanna pick, if you had to pick the best of Bring Up My Bar for this round, what would you pick? I would love to hear your choices down below. But that's it, thank you for watching. As always, don't watch me join me and have a great day.